So June 1961, uh, somebody broke into a pool hall in Panama City, Florida, and there was just one witness, and they thought that it was a man named Clarence Earl Gideon. So Gideon was arrested, he was tried with a felony, and he pleaded with the judge to get an attorney. And the judge said no, that at that point, uh, Florida was one of 15 states that didn't provide an attorney unless it was a capital case, unless death penalty was on the table. And so he went to trial uh, uncounseled, and he was convicted. So Clarence Earl Gideon wrote, um, actually wrote up by hand, a petition for writ of certiorari with the United States Supreme Court. So it goes all the way up to the Supreme Court, and uh, the court said, we should hear this case. They, they granted cert, and they appointed an attorney for the U.S. Supreme Court, and that attorney happened to be Abe Fortas, who ended up later on becoming a U.S. Supreme Court justice. So he went from having no attorney whatsoever to one of the, the greatest Supreme Court litigators of the 20th century. Um, the U.S. Supreme Court heard the case, and uh, Justice Hugo Black wrote the opinion. And in the opinion, one of the things that he wrote was that uh, in our nation, that the right to an attorney is not a luxury, that it's a necessity. That it's something that basically you should never have to face uh, a court, especially if it means incarceration alone, uh, without an attorney by your side. After he won in the U.S. Supreme Court, uh, Clarence Earl Gideon's case was remanded. It went all the way back down to the trial court, back down to Florida. This time, he, because of that case, because of Gideon versus Wainwright, he had an attorney. And with an attorney by his side, he was acquitted. Uh, there were, really, the evidence against him was pretty darn flimsy. So it was, it was a wonderful uh, Supreme Court decision, and it was a wonderful story that, uh, you know, with that attorney by his side, it made a big difference. It, it was a difference between being uh, locked up in prison and not. Uh, so an attorney by your side can make a very big difference in the criminal justice system. For the past 18 years, TIDC has helped fund, oversee, and improve indigent defense throughout the state of Texas. So that's our big mission, um, and, and that's what we're working on. And that's what Gideon Day is all about, uh, focusing on that right to counsel. We, we often talk about the First Amendment, we often talk about the Second Amendment. But a lot of times the other parts of the Bill of Rights, I mean, all these things that were passed in 1791 and are core to who we are as a nation, we, we just don't talk about. So Gideon Day is something that started just a few years ago, and it's, it's a chance to just take some time out of your day and to think about the right to counsel and how important it is, so that nobody is standing in front of the awesome power of the government by themselves. Uh, that's a big thing. It's a big turning point in our democracy, and it's something that we think is worth celebrating.